all right you guys welcome back to my channel today we are come on bro it's real it's real you hear my bro lugging in it's real yeah come on Okay, so today me and my awesome fix it all brother, well me mostly, are replacing the rotors and the brake pads on a 2011 Nissan Versa hatchback. Oh, there we go. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay. Now, you e -brake once you get that off, you, e -brake you want to put your e-brake on in the car. Next, you want to loosen your nug, but your lug nuts. Even tight. You want to loosen. You want to okay, put your tight. foot in there. Pop that thing like that. Just you know, don't take them off. Just want to do this. Before you got the wrong side on that little stuff that's working. What size is it, huh? Just loose, loose, loose. That's loose. All right. So you just want to loosen those. Let's put the drive on it. You got the jack there, it's first security. The jack stand, the second security. Y'all see this? And then the ramp, third security. I don't I don't trust I understand. So we have All right, so now that's good. three security. So let's get down to this. These are the tools you're gonna need. But these are universal, so these sizes, yeah. Okay, what is this called? A crossbar? A four-way. A four-way lug nut. Gloves, which I won't be using. For real? Wrench set, yeah. Your brake pads, your rotors. C-clamp. All that stuff should be laid right there. Then you got your brake pads and your rotors in here. They both in here? Yep. Yes, sir. What size is this? 21 millimeter, yeah. All right, I'll show you a trick. Put it like this, and then spin it like that. Oh, okay. All right. Spin it. Oh. Yep. Spin it off. Let's see what come off. Off. All right, you guys. So first things we're gonna we're gonna do after you take your wheel off. You're gonna go back here behind it. This is your caliper. You're gonna remove the top and the bottom. 14 millimeter. See that? Top, bottom, 14 millimeter. Like my brother said, crack that thing so you don't hear it no more. And then just untake the bolt out. That's it, just take the bolt out. And put it somewhere safe. This is your caliper, correct? Yes. The caliper. Go oh on. All right, you got you got to take that off, right? Mm -hmm. Not this, not this, just this. Just the, the middle. Caliper. Just the middle. Yeah. Keep your hand on. Don't let it fall. I'm not. You gotta wiggle right. it out because it's right now it's pressed with the brake. Okay. Okay. Wiggle it out. Now we gonna find a hole like this hole. I don't know if that's gonna hold it. It's gonna hold. And then we're gonna. Lift it up and find something to wrap it on to. Wrap it on to this. Right here. Took the caliper off right here and we're hanging it. Right? Because you don't want this brake hose to be dangling. Right? Yeah. So we're, we secured it around the spring. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm a trucker. Fact. Make it go all the way behind to this bolt. Okay. So do like this. Okay. Do like to this. loosen it. Yeah, loosen it. So you catch it in the center. Okay, I got you. So the... You get what I'm saying? Fit. Is it going to fit? Should. Okay, yep. that's the bolt. So well, where it go? To this edge right No, here? to the center. To, to the, the drone. Okay, okay, I got you. Is it going to pop? No, it's going gonna, gonna to start sinking into the caliber. Keep going. You see Ooh, it going in? The metal yeah. part going in? I see. Keep going. Oof. See, it won't go no more. It 
So just keep going. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna break it, right? Oh, you can let it loose now, bro. Okay. Yeah. You ain't gonna break. It's gonna yeah, stop. That look like he don't wanna it's go no stop. more. Once it stop, you there. Yeah, it stop. Don't back it off. Okay, not undo it. Yeah. Oh, okay. These is your brake pads. They need an up close look right there. One and what? Two behind it? Right there, right there. One finger in the front, one finger in the back. One. Oh, yeah. Okay. Boom. Boom. All right, now you're going to use a 17 millimeter to get these two off. One and two. This the part that got us stuck, you guys. So you got to put 89 pounds of twist in it, literally. Like you lift the 89 pounds. That's why it's difficult because I don't turn 89 pounds at the gym. I'm trying to hold it because I don't know what's about to fall. I feel like this is going to want to come off, but it ain't going to fall because it's on this. Okay. Okay. Okay, we on. taking that off. All right. Don't, don't, oh. yeah, you was trying to come straight instead of just go, sliding wow, straight off. Wow, you guys, even, look at this. That don't even look bad, though. It don't? This, this is rusted, but... What is this? So the car don't even use this? No, nah, the car uses this. That's why it's smooth. Wow. Yeah. We're going. All right, you guys, so we have the new rotors here we're gonna have to make sure we use brake cleaner to uh to clean them because they come lubricated to prevent them from resting you supposed to do that bro it's pretty good yeah they need more yeah like that yeah all right i like it what the y'all see this golly this the old one it's the new one. God, leave, boy. I've been rolling. God, leave, bro. You said when the, um, with the silver part, when the pads start hitting the silver part, that's how you know it need to be replaced? Yeah, yeah. God, dang, bro. Y'all see this? God, God dang. Right here is the silver part, and this is the, um, you know, the pad part. It's past that point. Y'all see that? Wow. Now for our rotors. Um, put these jumps back on. Now this one's heavy. Mm. Alright. Put it on now. So put it on there. Take your this ain't the caliper. It's the it's a bracket. Uh, Just call it a caliper bracket. bracket. Take the bracket. So you, this goes on, but you gotta line up. You gotta line up those holes on the bottom, on the back side. Basically, you want to get the holes on your bracket aligned with the holes that the bolts have to go through. Easy. Then you're gonna put your bolt back in. You gotta do it. I don't like it going in. Man, that joint wasn't even going in, bro. Bro. What the heck, bro? Like you can just edit it and say you did that part. Is this a prank? No, you can edit it and say you did We, My brother just did this part for me. He had to put 89 pounds of pressure. 89 pounds of pressure for those two bolts right there. That one and that one. Got the first brake pad in. The next, got to go back here. And you got to press it down to get drop into the... Got it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You got That's it, it y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Got that in there. And we, re and we record the person the caliber back. Uh-huh. So, I forgot about it. All right. Next What's is your putting your caliper back on. What's your name? I, that we use to secure the caliper so that the brake holes wouldn't hang. We're just going to cut that, put the caliper back onto the bracket. So we finna do y'all. Easy, easy. Now you wanna carefully, carefully move that bracket. 
to the holes. Which is oh yeah. the holes right here. See those? You see these little things right here? Y'all see that? I know y'all see that hole. You just gonna line it up. That's all right. Boom. You there? All right. You just wanna take your bolts. This is actually fun. See how people. You just said, "Ooh, patience." I I'll break this it. This part is I'll fun. I, no, I, I mean I'll break it if I was to put a lot of pressure. Right. I ain't wanna go yang and it break. But you're right. I do need to work on it. But this is fun. This is therapeutic, though. If you really think about it. It is. If you ain't got nothing else to do, you can just chill and work on your car. Especially this if you make like your car nice. really, really nice. You know? Right. Really nice. Okay, so you want to tighten it as much as you can with your fingers. And you want to take your 14 yeah. millimeter and the cricket, make it crooked. I don't need 89 pounds of pressure with this one. No. It didn't say that. So that's a good, right? Like that. Boom. We'll do it again. What you think? Do it again? Okay. Do it till it hurt. I mean, not till it hurt. What you be into? <laughs> Let's give a, a very quick recap. So we've attached, we attached the brackets using the 14, uh, using the 17 millimeter. Now we're uh, we just attached the caliper using a 14 millimeter here. So next thing is the the wheel. This ain't part of the step, but use this time to inspect your tire real quick. Do a visual inspection. Make sure you don't see no nails, no cuts, bulges, or abrasions. My CDL people know what we what we talking about. A little patience now. There you go. They just looking at you. <laughs> oh but my it, bad. It, but... My bad. That is not my intention. I am a professional. What's up, the note, love not? So you want to just you know put these on first, honey. Oh, put them on. Yeah. So this, imagine this little groove sink yeah that groove in the back sinks down into the yeah you see well, what i'm thank saying thank you lord you're here because honey i would have eventually then you go diagonal dun, dun, and then like yeah, so no, that, here. That, yeah that makes a lot of sense for way bar mm. 21 millimeters Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So you just want to go to the right to tighten. You know, just tighten it. Now, this part, you want to go at a diagonal rate to tighten. And then, you know, once you let your car back down, you can tighten it all the way. Contractions. Now, watch all these contractions my brother set up, y'all. It's not a lot of contractions. Watch this. For safety. One. Let it down. That other jet, yeah. You ready? What other? Oh. It's out. There you go. Just give it all you got. I'm not a muscle mommy for no reason. Dang, I I can't even show my games. I got on a hoodie. Y'all, I got abs and everything. Last one is here. That ain't going nowhere, I gotta assure you. Then you just put this on. Right, bro? Line it up with the... Uh, the valve stone? Yes. Is there a hole for the valve stone? Mm -hmm, yeah. Right there. Just tap the middle first, and then start tapping the edges. Yeah, let me line it up here. Tap the middle right here? Yep, hit the middle first, and then start hitting the edges, yeah. Thank y'all so much. What's up? 
Why are you letting us see your face? Not Thank, yes, I do. Okay, okay, okay. Thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs> this is ghetto. This is ghetto, bro. This is, thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make an actual outro because this is stupid. Okay.